Hey, it's Georgina. I'm here to teach you a little bit about the Gentle Beginnings Yoga series that's coming up. It's a four week series and very gentle of therapeutic yoga. Today we will be doing a happy feet yoga practice. You will be able to find the PDF version um, included in this video. You're also going to need a yoga strap. These are also bought on Half Moon, and you can also buy these at any store um, that sells sporting goods. And a blanket. I have just the, another blanket I'm sitting on here, and that's all you need for this practice today. So let's get started. So we're going to come into a breathing exercise, and this is square breath. You're going to inhale up one side of the square, exhale along the length of the square. So this is kind of nice because it is a longer breath. And then we'll inhale down the square and exhale along the bottom of the square. So sit up nice and tall. I'm sitting on a blanket. I'm going to rest my hands on top of my knees. I'm going to root down through my bottom, down through the sits bones. I'm imagining that lifting through the tips of the ears again, crown of the head, and I'm going to inhale through my nose, exhale along the upper edge of the square, inhale, and exhale. Inhale up the side of the square. Exhale along the edge. Inhale down the side of the square. And exhale along the bottom edge. One more time, inhale. Good. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra. And just rest here for a moment, tapping into how the body feels. Maybe feeling more circulation in the feet throughout the rest of the body. Good, to warm up our spine, we're going to come into cat-cow. So this can be really subtle or it can be as strong as you want it. To begin, I like to open up through the chest, collarbones shine towards the sky, my chin lifts. As I exhale, I round and I pull, place my hands on my knees and allow the belly to scoop back. And I even lean into my hands. Inhale, rising, and exhale, rounding. So to be more subtle, I would just do a little gaze up and a little rounding. So if you're feeling like that's too much, what I was showing you before, you can really just take your time to feel how you want to move the spine and gradually making it a little bit more bigger and rounder. Three more breaths here. Good, and come back to seated. From here, we will come over onto our hands and knees. And because we're working into our feet, we're going to tuck our toes. 
So if you want a blanket under your knees, you can place a blanket under your knees. I'm going to move mine to the side. So stacking my hands underneath my shoulders. I like to bring my fingers a little bit wider, so I'm not placing them right in front, but just a little bit wider. And that way I find I can press a little bit more into the big thumb mound. The toes are going to be tucked, so you'll see that their tops of feet are not on the mat, but I'm tucking the toes. So we're doing rocket cat cow. So in rocket cat cow, we round up, and as we come back, we're coming back into the toes. So you're going to feel a nice little bit of weight into the toes, stretching the back of the feet. We inhale and exhale into the feet. Inhale, rounding. And exhale, coming back onto the feet. Good, three more. So you're really going to feel this into the toes and the feet. And last one. Good, bring the tops of the feet back down. We're going to bring the knees nice and wide. Come down into a child's pose. Just place the hands, elbows nice and wide. Wide as your yoga mat. Forehead comes down to rest on the mat. Let's stay here for five breaths. Good, slowly look up. We're gonna come into a nice twist here, which is great for the shoulders. This is also working into the feet. You're feeling this right in the tops of the feet. So it may seem like it's not for the feet, but it really is. We're gonna take this left palm, palm comes up. I'm coming down onto my shoulder, letting my left ear rest on the mat and right arm the elbow comes down, fingers are nice and wide, and getting into that left shoulder blade. Stay here for three breaths. Good, I'm gonna press through that left palm, slowly unwind, just bring that arm out, do a few wrist rolls here, and then coming over to the other side. So the other side, I'm bringing the right arm up, placing it underneath, letting my right ear come down. This left arm is supporting me here. Fingers are nice and wide. You can also place the blanket underneath your head if you need to. Notice if you're resting on one side of your hip or another, give them a little wiggle and come back, back down to an even weight here. Three more breaths. Good, I'm gonna press into that left palm, lifting myself up. I'm gonna give that arm a little shake here, do a few wrist rolls. Good, we're gonna come back up to hands and knees. 
stay here on your hands and knees. And to get into those feet again, we're gonna come into sunbird, or it's called bird dog. So we're gonna stretch out those right toes flexing the toes so you're getting into the feet and you're going to rock back and forth. You can even bring the fingertips out front, left fingertips come down and we're just rocking back and forth, getting into the feet, making our feet a little bit more happy today. Good, from here, flex the back foot, heel reaches for the back of your mat and then lift the left fingertips. And then place the hand so the hand is facing towards you. Bring the hand back down and the foot back down. Let's do a few circles here, just working into the hips. Let the head be heavy. Go in the other direction. Hmm. You can come back up to your hands and knees again, taking a moment to come into that nice strong foundation. So eyes and the elbows, I like to bring them so they come towards me. So you notice the elbows out and I'm just bringing it towards me. Same with this one. So the eyes and the elbows are looking at each other. This time we're going to take that left foot behind, toes are active, heel is reaching behind, and again, rocking. Oh, a little crack and a pop there. My left foot is one that I hurt when I was a very young child, so it does little crackle and pops every now and then. I'm gonna bend into my elbows a little bit here. And now bringing the right fingertips out. So right fingertips are coming down to the mat and I'm still rocking here. My gaze is just at the front of the mat. Good, a couple more here. Just use your natural breath. And now coming back to that bird dog, I'm resting that, bringing that left heel out and fingers come up. The palm is facing towards the center of the mat. Hold here for two breaths. Good, slowly bring that down. Good, let's come back to rest in our child's pose. Actually this time, let's bring our, our knees together, bringing our head down. I'm gonna place mine on top of the folded blanket and then rounding the head down, getting a nice little bit of a, um, here we have a nice, flexing and relaxing into the neck, into the cervical spine. So here we have a nice rounding of the spine all the way from the cervical spine right down to the lumbar spine. Place your hands on the mat slowly round up and we'll come into one more pose before we come into our resting pose of Shavasana. This is where you're going to need your strap. So from child's pose I came up and now I'm sitting on a blanket. You're going to need your strap for this pose. So I'm going to Bend the right foot, place the strap underneath the ball of the foot and press it away from me. From here, I like to just allow myself to do a few pointing and flexing of the toes. So I'm bringing the heel away from me and then pointing the toes away from me. And again, strap is at the ball of the foot. You can even lift that foot off the ground slightly. Just make sure you're not leaning too far back and do the same thing. It's a little bit more challenging. Bring that foot down. Release the strap. We're going to lean into our hands. Bring the feet as wide as the mat and windshield wiper the feet and knees.
Good. Let's bring the strap now to the left foot, bring it in under the, so the ball of the foot. Strap is under the ball of the foot. I'm sitting up nice and tall. And again, pointing toes and flexing heel. So we're also getting into the calf muscle here. You can also lift that foot up and do the flexing and pointing. Good, release that down. We're coming back into those windshield wipers, knees, feet come as wide as the mat, and just allowing yourself to twist from one side to the other. Another option for doing this is on your back. So slowly coming down to your back. If you wanna engage your core muscles, you can come down using the core muscles, slowly coming down, or simply placing each elbow down on the mat, coming down to lay flat on your back. I like to have my blanket underneath my head. So this may be easier for us to lay on our back to do this. You can place the ball of the foot with the strap. My right foot comes up. I'm not bringing the leg too far back. I'm gonna keep it nice and gentle in front of me, even bending that knee. And from here, I'm going to do the heel point. My elbows, you'll see, are resting on the ground. I'm just staying in a nice, gentle breath. And another nice thing we can do here, if you bring the knee, the leg over top of the hips, you can do little tiny circles, holding the strap in one hand. working into the hip flexor. And you can also do a little bit of twisting the, the foot around. And maybe a few ankle rolls. Sending those feet some much needed love. Good, let's bring that foot down to the mat. Let's take a moment here to lift up into baby bridge, resetting the lower sacrum down on the ground. This right foot's gonna remain bent with right leg is bent with right foot on the mat and lift that left foot up. Again, not too high to start out, but just nice and gentle in front of you. Heels point away and then pointing toes. And your strap is helping you keep that leg nice and strong. Bringing that leg up so it's right stacked on top of the hip flexor and again, making those little circles. And the other way. And then just doing a few ankle rolls here. Good, bring the foot down to the mat. Again, little baby bridge to reset the lower back down onto the ground. Bring the soles of the feet together here and open up into butterfly. Let's take three breaths here. And let's bring those hands to the side, bringing the knees together. We're going to bring the left knee into the chest. Now extend it out onto the ground, so as wide as the mat. Bring the right knee in, extend it out as wide as the mat. Arms come down to either side of the body. Do a little wiggle here, finding that place of comfort and ease. I always like to say, even if you can be 10% more comfortable, what would that look like for you? Do you need an eye pillow? Maybe a blanket covering you today? 
a bolster under the knees. And then come back to your natural breath. you can lay here, I will bring you out of Shavasana with a poem. And then we'll come back to seated. So just resting here, rest the forehead. Allow the jaw to relax, belly soft. Your knees are relaxed, ankles are relaxed so the feet just flop to either side. The whole back body melts down onto the mat to receive the front body. Begin little movements. I like to make circles with my wrists. Begin to bend my knees, planting my feet back down on the earth, rocking my head from side to side. Maybe a little stretch through the neck, lifting the neck and placing the chin towards your heart. And as you're ready, slowly rolling over to one side. As you lay on your side here, resting, feeling your right side of your body resting on your mat, I'm going to read to you a poem by Dana Folds. This is called Ten Breaths. I count out ten deep breaths before I enter the adventure of my practice. Ten breaths to bring myself present in the here and now. Ignited by awareness, energy wakes and carries me from effort into ease. Presence itself breathes through me, the unseen substance of love, so tangible and strong that each long breath offers up the key to my release. So feeling yourself more at ease from this practice, we come up to seated. Garuda Mudra is a mudra that means eagle seal. The hand gesture is where we interlock the thumbs together and our hands are extended with our palms open. And this is to represent the mighty bird of the eagle. In Hindu mythology, Garuda is the vehicle of Lord Vishnu, the Lord of preservation, and also considered the king of birds. The mudra is a wonderful way to bring balance into the body. And it's a nice way for us to bring this mudra into helping with feelings of anxiety where the vata element, so air element, is out of balance. From here, we'll bring our hands into Anjali Mudra. We will bow our head and bring in gratitude for this practice of yoga in our seat of yoga and trusting this practice while everything goes around us and knowing we can trust this. Bring your hands up to your forehead, your third eye, the Ajna Chakra. Bowing forward and then coming up to seated, hands back into Anjali with much gratitude from my heart to each of your gentle yogi hearts. Namaste.
I wanted to show you a few more um, props that you can use for therapeutic yoga. This is a black bouncy ball, um, Skyway Bounce. I got this off of Amazon, also great for massage on your feet, and it's actually pretty squishy. So you can use it um, instead of the spiky ball. And then I also have this round little bouncy ball. These ones you get at the dollar store. They're really hard, but they're awesome for getting in to the neck. So massaging that cranky area on the shoulders or on the neck, even getting into the temples. And that is just a little bouncy ball, super bouncy. So if you're on a floor where you've got tile or hardwood, this guy's gonna be hanged hard to hang on to. Also have this little squash ball. Actually, yeah, it's a squash ball. It's super, super soft. This one I'm gonna be showing you how to use when you sign up for the four week series with the Gentle Therapeutic Beginnings Program. This one we use also on the bottom of the feet, but also you can use it in your hands, on your shoulders, your arms, to get into those really tight areas. So self-massage is a very big part of therapeutic yoga. These ones feel really great on the feet, and I will show you more about that in the four-week series. Please join me for the four-week series coming up. It's all online with videos and lots of support. The cost is $45, that includes GST, and it'll keep you on your yoga practice for the summer. So namaste and have a wonderful day.